So let's look at expanding each of these. We've got 1 plus x to the 0, 1 plus x to the 1, 1 plus x to the 2, and so on. So 1 plus x to the 0 will just be 1. Okay, So that is just 1, because anything to the power of 0 is 1. 1 plus x to the 1, well, that would just be 1 plus x, right? Now, 1 plus x squared, well, that's 1 plus 2x plus x squared. Now, 1 plus x cubed, well, we might have to do a little bit of expanding brackets down here. 1 plus x times 1 plus x squared. So 1 plus x times 1 plus x times 1 plus x. So that's 1 plus x times 1 plus 2x plus x squared which is 1 plus 2x plus x squared uh, plus um, so we've got 1 times 1, 1 times 2x, 1 times x squared, x times 1, x times 2x, so 2x squared, and x times x squared is x cubed. So that's going to give us 1 plus 3x plus 3x squared plus x cubed. Okay, so at this point, can we see any pattern emerging? Okay, now I've written up Pascal's triangle here for a reason. Because hopefully you're spotting that the coefficients that are in the expansion are precisely the numbers that are in Pascal's triangle. We have 1, we've got 1, 1, okay. We've got 1, 2, 1. We've got 1, 3, 3, 1. Okay? So it only stands to reason that now we'd be able to expand 1 plus x to the 4, 1 plus x to the 5 using Pascal's triangle. So you can check these if you like, but you'd be expecting it to be 1 plus 4x plus 6x squared plus 4x cubed plus x to the 4. So the powers of x are increasing, and I've got the coefficients of Pascal's triangle on that row. The next one would be 1 plus 5x plus 10x squared plus 10x cubed plus 5x to the 4 plus x to the 5. So what you're seeing here is actually a very quick and nifty way of expanding these brackets out. Now, that is all well and good, okay? Brilliant. So what happens if I've got 2 plus x to the power of 5? Well, we can't use this anymore, okay? Something else must be going on, because we're going to have to deal with that 2 somehow. So that is what we're going to investigate in the next video.